Welcome, deep divers. So thrilled you've joined us again. Today, we're doing a deep dive into something uh, really on the cutting edge. It's audio-driven, multi-person, conversational video generation. Just imagine animating entire scenes, you know, with multiple characters interacting, just using their voices and maybe a simple prompt. It feels like a real game changer. And we're here today to sort of unpack how it all works. Yeah, absolutely. And our guide for this is a pretty groundbreaking research paper. It introduces this new framework they're calling multi-talk. It's quite a leap forward in this field, honestly. Right. So our mission today is basically to pull out the key insights from this paper. We want to understand how Multitalk manages to create these incredibly realistic, interactive videos. And importantly, think about the broader implications, you know, for us. Okay, let's get into it. The core problem Multitalk is trying to solve. Animating one person. Well, that's already hard, right? Getting the lip sync, the movement. But handling multiple people, talking maybe even over each other, what makes that so much tougher for an AI? Well, that's exactly the challenge. And it's fascinating how multi-talk approaches it. See, with several people talking, you've got multiple audio streams coming in. The biggest hurdle, and this is what multi-talk seems to really nail, is stopping that incorrect audio-to-person binding. Think about it, making sure the right voice consistently comes from the right person's mouth, even if they move around. Without that key piece, it just wouldn't look convincing. Plus, they've also improved how well the system follows instructions, the prompts you give it. Hmm, that does sound like a serious technical challenge. So where might we actually see this technology used? Does the paper give any, like, real-world examples? It, it does suggest some really interesting possibilities. Uh, things like multi-character movie scene-making. Mm -hmm. So you could potentially script dialogue and just have the characters animated automatically, looking really quite realistic. Another area mentioned is e-retailers live streaming. You can imagine dynamic, multi-person product demos without needing a huge crew. That's, yeah, that's pretty compelling. But okay, the how. How does multi-talk actually achieve this? That voice-to-face matching with multiple people, that sounds like the secret sauce. It really is. And that brings us to their main innovation, label rotary position embedding, or LROP. You can kind of think of it as a very smart digital conductor for the animation. It assigns these unique temporary labels to bits of the audio, and then it links those labels directly to the visual data of the person's face, their body. This connection essentially tells the system, okay, this specific sound belongs to that specific person on screen, and that allows it to trigger the right lip movements, the right expressions for really good synchronization, even if the scene's busy. Wow, okay. L rope E. And the way they train the system sounds clever too. The paper talks about partial parameter training and multitask training. Why are those specific strategies important? Oh, they're absolutely critical partial parameter training. That means they only fine tune some parts of the underlying AI model. The clever part is this preserves the original model's ability to understand instructions well. If they trained everything, you might actually lose some of that capability, get weird distortions. And then there's multitask training. This is also smart. They train the model on a mix of tasks, like generating video from audio and images, but also just from images alone. It's kind of like teaching someone advanced skills, but making sure they still practice the basics. It keeps the system robust and good at following those detailed prompts. Got it. So with all that cleverness under the hood, what kind of specific scenes or interactions can Multitalk actually create? Can you give us an example or two from the paper? Sure, sure. it demonstrates quite a bit of versatility. For instance, it can handle a prompt like uh, the fox picked up the cup and then touched the <laughs> rabbit's head. That shows it can manage object interaction and specific character actions. Or it can do things involving multiple subjects, like a man and a woman are singing together on stage. That really highlights its potential. So what's the overall verdict from the research? How does it perform compared to other methods? The paper reports superior performance, particularly in lip synchronization and video quality. And that's across different test cases, just talking heads, full bodies, and these more complex multi-person setups. Another impressive point is generating longer videos. They mentioned up to 15 seconds using an autoregressive approach, which means it builds the video frame by frame, essentially. Okay, this tech is clearly powerful. Lots of creative potential there. But the paper also brings up, well, the societal side of things. What about the potential downsides? Yeah, they do address that. The researchers explicitly mention the risk wherein malicious entities could exploit this framework to generate fake videos of celebrities, potentially misleading the public. It's a significant concern, and they acknowledge it's a shared consideration across various human animation methodologies. It's not unique to multi-talk, but definitely something to be aware of with this kind of power. 
Indeed. It's a crucial point. And it leaves us with a big question, doesn't it? As this kind of AI video generation gets better and better, how do we ensure it's developed and used responsibly? How do we prevent misuse while still benefiting from all the amazing creative things it could enable? That's something for all of us, I think, to keep thinking about. Well, that was quite the deep dive. Thank you so much for joining us today to explore the really fascinating world of multi-talk. Absolutely. And staying informed on these technologies as they evolve so quickly, mm -hmm. it feels more important than ever. Couldn't agree more. Keep that curiosity going, everyone, and we'll catch you on the next deep dive.